Okay, so I'm going to show you a technique to, to put on uh, solar panels on a roof and at the same time be very inexpensive. Uh, you can you buy the extruded aluminum, you could get the uh, machined aluminum, and uh, uh, it's, it's all very expensive and it looks really nice. But I get a lot of requests, especially with our, uh, our do-it-yourself uh, home kits, uh, how do I put solar panels on the roof uh, on the, on the, so, to, so to say, on the cheap, and yet I want a professional look. So, you know, let me show you. Now, we've got those other solar panels up, and I showed you how to do that technique. I'm going to show you a different technique now. And this is a, a little bit easier, a little bit harder, depending on how you look at it. And what it is is, so, here's a panel here we've already got here, and we have access to this side and this side and, you know, all this kind of stuff. However, everything from there we can't get from the top. And so what we use is a, typically a, uh, a little device that will seal or hold both of the panels in together. And so what you need to do is you go down to, um, take my glove off here, you go down to your home uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and you go to a department, same place you got these rails, and you pick up a square like this and a nut, what they call it a cone nut, like this. See how that looks there? I don't know if you can see that. And a uh, quarter inch. I use three inches, you have, depending on the thickness of your solar panel. I use three inches. It works, seems to work really well. And a quarter inch washer. Okay? And so you basically <clears throat> put it together like this. You put the, the quarter inch washer on. You put your big heavy square n uh, nut on. And then you, you can even put it in right now the cone sides goes towards this side you see that all right put it in a little bit and then you come over to here and you just slip it in get this you just slip it in here now one of the nice things is that these if you'll notice these are designed so that you can basically put it in like this, and then turn it around, and it'll catch when you tighten it. I'm going to put the other one up here at the top, again the same kind of way, can you see that? Yep. Put it in, flip it, you got to make sure it's, it's angled the right way here, like that. Now we take the solar panel, and we just bring it over here. So hang on. And it's better if you have two guys to do this. You slide it over to that. Until you have it like that. And then we just have a, a nut driver. I'm going to just finger tighten these right now, for right now. All right. All right, just tighten it down. Make sure everything's up tight. Oops. Make sure that's good here. And tighten this one up, and you're good to go. All right, so on the back of the solar panel, you have these two wires coming out, and they have these, what we call an MC4 connectors. You have a male and you have a female. And so we need to get some wire to hook these up, and I'll show you how to do that, how to put these connectors on uh, on a, uh, on a uh, solar co cable wire. Okay, so you have, you can get these off the internet, you can buy them from us, uh, they're not too bad. And so basically you have two components, you have a male, and a female, and then you have the, uh, the metal inside. Now, what's important to realize is that 
you have these two metal inserts. One has is like a big tube, and the other one is is not. The tube one goes with the male, and this one goes with the female. I know it's it doesn't logical, but that's the way it is. I'll show you how to put those on. So basically you take your little old handy dandy razor knife, you go down between an inch and three quarters of an inch, about like that, and just cut around, cut the, the cut it off. It's kind of stiff. Now notice there's a black covering and then there's a white covering. This is approved solar water, it's designed to take uh, the... Um, the heat of the sun and outdoors and all that kind of stuff and handle it well. It's uh, 10 gauge and this is what you should use when you're doing cables on your house is, is this cable wiring. Now I like to often when I have a, a project to buy them with the cables on. You buy it with a, a, a male on one end, a female on the other one and then you cut the wire in half and you have the two cables at the appropriate lengths. Okay, now we need to put on one of our uh, metal connectors. Before we do that, okay, so we have everything ready. So it goes inside like that, down to the bottom. Now, you can get a, a tool to do that, a crimping tool like this. They're all oh, about 35 bucks or whatever along this line. If you're doing a lot of them, I suggest you do that. You can get uh, other tools to do that, like uh, a pair of pliers, whatever, just to snug it up tight. Bend those over along this line. Crimp them really good. You can buy this at Walmart, and it's a crimping tool. So you actually can uh, do a good crimp with it. Okay. Or you can actually use a real crimping tool. Okay. Either way it works. Now, remember, the big opening goes to the male. So we first put this on. We put the cap on first. Okay. Then we put this part on like this. Notice how it goes. Okay, so the gray part is here and they have different kinds. And then you put this tool on. This, the end on. And as you push it in, there, you hear a snap. I don't know if you heard that or not. You have a little snap. You put this up near the top, and then you tighten it here. Okay? Voila, you're done. Do the other end uh, the same way. I'll show you in a little bit. Okay, so we're ready to put the, the female on. And so... We just cut the, the wire. He's putting on the... Going to crimp it on the wire. Okay, we're good.